I've never been much of a gamer. It's basically down to the fact that I'm not very good at games. And mostly that has to do with the fact that the games that I was always prodded to play were first-person shooters, and I can't aim worth a damn. I just don't have the dexterity or the coordination to actually aim at anything and come anywhere close to hitting it. It's just, it's a flaw that I just can't get past. Even with practice and playing hours and hours of Call of Duty, I just wasn't any good at it. It didn't mean that I didn't have fun, it just means that I was, you know, terrible. The types of games that I've always enjoyed, however, have been more mobile type games. So I play a lot of games on my phone. Uh, I enjoyed the Game Boy back in the day. I had a, a, a DS, I had a PSP, I had a Vita. All those handheld consoles were really interesting to me and I really enjoyed them because they were more my speed. So the Steam Deck that Valve announced this past week is actually really interesting to me. And I've, I came really, really close to paying the $5 to actually reserve one but I didn't and really it's mostly come down because it was just a little bit too pricey for me in terms of actually fitting into my finances at the moment and there might come a time when it actually it's closer to actually being a real thing that I might regret that decision and just might splurge on it and buy it myself but at the moment I'm not getting one but I do have some thoughts on how the release of the Valve Steam Deck affects Linux, and specifically gaming on Linux. So this is the first of two videos that I'm actually going to be doing on this. So in this video, I'm going to be covering what a successful launch of the Steam Deck means for gaming on Linux. And in the video that you'll see tomorrow, I'm going to be talking about what happens if the Steam Deck fails. So if you want to see that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see it early, head on over to patreon.com slash linuxcast and you'll actually be able to see that video a day early. So in this video, I want to talk about what happens if the Steam Deck is a success. How does that affect gaming on Linux? The answer is that it actually affects it immensely because really, there's one thing that's missing for gaming on Linux and that's the ability to play games that use anti-cheat software. Right now, that's the biggest hurdle we have on Linux in terms of actually playing top-tier AAA games. Those ones that use anti-cheat software just won't work on Linux. And that's a shame because those are obviously the most popular games. Now, the introduction of the Steam Deck means that it's possible that that hurdle becomes either lessened or goes away completely because Valve has announced that they want to, or they're aiming for, 100% game viability on the Steam Deck, which means that any games that you want to play on the Steam Deck will also play on Linux because Steam OS and the Steam Deck just use Arch Linux. So any gains for the Steam Deck automatically translate to being awesome for gaming on just whatever Linux device you have. That's really the hurdle that they have to jump and it'll be interesting to see if they do because the way anti-cheat works is it actually has to have kernel level access in order for it to check on whether or not you're actually cheating and obviously as you can imagine that would have some serious security implications and it's unlikely that the Linux kernel team would just open up the kernel for access to anti-cheat software I mean, maybe it's possible that they can work together and try to figure out how to have some kind of software. Maybe it's Wine, maybe it's Proton, whatever, that somehow it acts as a liaison between the kernel and the anti-cheat software. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not a developer. But that has been the hurdle so far, and it's been a hurdle that Valve has not been able to jump over yet. And whether or not they can do so by December, I don't know. But if they can, that means that Linux will see 100% game compatibility whether the game was developed for Linux or not, and that is spectacular. The number one reason why a lot of Windows users give for not being able to use Linux full-time is games. Even now that we have Proton, even with how good Linux gaming has gotten over the last few years, there are many people who just can't get past those few games that they absolutely want to play because they use anti-cheat software and they're not available on Linux through Proton. If they can get past that, that means that that hurdle 
that that limitation is no longer there. That means that more people, theoretically at least, should be interested in switching to Linux. That barrier to entry would be gone. And that is an amazing thing. And I really do hope that the Steam Deck is as good as they say it's going to be. If this thing comes out and runs really well and plays the games that they say it's going to play, it's going to be awesome. Even if in December it gets to the point where they don't have 100% game compatibility, but they've only, you know, they're still working on it maybe, but the games that we have right now play on it and play on it well, I think that even that can be considered a win because it's still Linux and it still exposes people to Linux and I think that any exposure of more people to Linux is a good thing. Even if I think that those games that don't play on the Steam Deck at that time, if that becomes the case, will be a thing that the reviewers kind of point at towards, wow, this thing kind of sucks because you can't play X game, whatever. I mean, that will be definitely something that will be a disappointment for reviewers and that might lower the ability of the Steam Deck to actually be successful. But I think that even if it's just the, you know, 90% of games that we have right now that do work, if it's just at that number, I think that a lot of people will still be blown away. Because it's obviously miles ahead of where Steam was five years ago when they had the Steam boxes or whatever the hell they were called. Um, when basically no games played on Linux. So... Uh, I'm really excited for what this means because if this is successful, if Steam can go th or if Valve can go through and get those last few games up and running on Linux, it's just going to blow everybody's minds. I think that it's just going to be a complete game changer in terms of nobody can actually go through and argue that Linux can't game because that hurdle will be gone. That argument will be gone. It'll no longer be something that people can use. And like I said, that means all we'll have to do is listen to them bitch about Adobe. So uh, that is it for me. If you want to get in contact with me, you can do so at the LinuxCast on Twitter. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank my current patrons. Devon, Marcus, Meglin, Donnie, Sven, East Coast Web, Chris, Mitchell, Mr. Fox, American Camp. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.